<coughs> Director General, what motivates you to work within the United Nations system? You know, after my retirement from 40 years of bilateral diplomacy, I had my first opportunity to do multilateral diplomacy, and the UN gave me that opportunity. I went into peacekeeping and had an opportunity to see the good work that the UN does in this field, which I think is indispensable. It's actually great value. The UN can do peacekeeping at about half the price of doing it bilaterally. So I was motivated. My whole life has been about public service. And when I retired, I thought, what do I do to serve? And this opportunity came along, and I'm so grateful that it did. And I've moved on from peacekeeping now into migration. From your own experience, can you give an example of how the UN has made a difference in some individual's life that you've witnessed? Well, of course, there, there are multiple examples. I guess the one that jumps out to me is the question of the elections that were held in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in 2006. Now, we'll set aside what's happened since those elections, but the elections were free and fair judged to be so by all institutions, including the Carter Center. Now, it's interesting that people who had never voted before, who couldn't read, they could take a ballot as big as the front section of the New York Times, and on page seven, check exactly which name they wanted to vote for. That For me, that was inspiring, and I think it did show that these people, for once, had a real opportunity to state their views on the pol policies. And the exercises. So how did you first learn about the United Nations? Oh, that goes back to, to my boyhood. Uh, it was founded in 1945. I was a student in high school when the UN more or less was founded. And uh, I thought, boy, here is, a, is an interesting concept that rather than doing it nation by nation, we'll do it all together. Later, of course, I came to know the UN firsthand through my work at the State Department as a as a diplomat, a career diplomat. Then I came to know about it firsthand through the peacekeeping that I did, and now, of course, through the field, a very important field of migration. So what is your message to Americans about the, the relevance, the importance of the United Nations? My message is very simple. If the United Nations did not exist, we would have to create it. Thank goodness we have it. We're now 72 years into the UN's activities. And while one can always criticize and say, well, they could do better, or they could do it for less money, or, or there's a bureaucracy and all of that, it, uh, ultimately what you have is an organization in all of its multiplicity, specialized agencies, those doing food, those doing children, uh, those involved in peacekeeping. But it's all necessary work, and much of this work is done actually at a lower cost than you could do it if you tried to do it bilaterally or among a couple of countries. So the message is, we need the United Nations. And is there a part of your job is it that you particularly relish, or is there a favorite? I think there's no question about it. My proudest achievement was uh, taking part in the decision by the member states to enter the UN system. We're very proud of that, and I think it has greatly strengthened the organization and offers it a much brighter future than it would have had had we stayed outside.